Hey guys, I'm doing this Kepsik here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. Today I want to go over some CompTIA A plus questions. Uh, we are going to do a uh, virtualization quiz. Obviously, the new internal, we know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So let me share my screen and we'll go over the questions and answers for that specific thing. All right. And just for the sake of my video, let me close out of Discord because I'm being spammed right now on Discord and I'm going to close out of Teams. I'm going to close out of Slack and let's get started. Let me share my screen here. Share screen one. All right. Awesome. So it says, which of the following is an example of on-premise VDI solution? So on-prem, so that means physically there, right? So software as a service that's on the cloud. I believe desktop as a service. It's not it. Remote server hosting virtualization, virtualized OS. It's local server hosting um, virtualized OS. That's the answer for question number one. All right, let's go to the next one. In the persistent VDI, select two answers. Each user runs their own copy of a virtual desktop. That is correct. At the end of the at the end of the user's at the end of a session, user desktop reverts to its original state. Uh, nope. Virtual desktop is shared amongst multiple users. Nope. At the end of the session, users' data and in personal settings are saved. That is correct. Which of the answers listed below describes the characteristics of a non-persistent VDI? So, two different answers. At the end, of, at the end of the session, users that's reverse to its original state. Uh, that is that's this one. Each user runs their own copy of virtual desktop. No, nope. at the end of the set, at the end of the session, users' data and personal settings are saved. They actually are. No, it's not. That's not how that works. Virtual desktop is shared amongst multiple users. That is correct. So it's going to be that one. Which of the following answers refers to a cloud-based VDI service? So that one is going to be DAS. And I'll put the answer here somewhere as to why that's the answer. So it makes more sense. Uh, which of the following terms list, listed below refers to a solution that allows multiple operating systems to run simultaneously on the same hardware? This is what we do every day, guys. We use VirtualBox, we use VMware, we try to use virtualization. It wouldn't be hyper-threading, it wouldn't be clustering, it wouldn't be multitasking. Let me do any of, any of these other things. In a virtualization technology, a software program, a software program that manages multiple operating systems or multiple instances on a same operating system on a single computer system is known as so. It says a software program. So that immediately gives you a hint that it's a program, right? So it won't be this one. It won't be this one. It won't be this one. It's going to be hypervisor. Which of the following statements describes the disadvantage of virtualization? Multiple, multiple virtual machines run a single host share hardware resources, which have a downgrading effect on performance. That is true. In a virtualization deployment of different types of OS, multiple copies of the same OS or application becomes more difficult to room hardware configuration issues. No, that's not true. On a large scale, virtualization has a negative effect on operation costs due to increased power supply requirements. That really? Power use for hosting virtual machines become a single point of failure. That is correct. Let's continue. For the best performance, a customer, a custom workstation designed for virtualization task needs what? So you obviously need a, a super fast hard drive, right? So it's going to be large, fast hard drive. Obviously, uh, memory is allocated from your personal PC, so you're going to need uh, maximum RAM, which is random access memory. It says you need a specialized GPU. Not really. High-end cooling? No. CPU? Yes. Central processing unit? Yes. Select three. A set of Intel CPU HAV enhancements is called... Uh, VT-X. Which of the answers listed below refers to a HAV enhancement developed by AMD for its CPUs? It's AMD V. I actually have this feature. Um, It's not on, but I have this feature. You could enable this on my BIOS for my my actual PC. I have I have this. It's not on, but I can enable it if I want to. Uh, the term VM spar is, uh, spar is used to describe a solution in which a large number of deployed virtual machines like proper administration controls. True. That is true. The term VM escape refers to the process of breaking out of boundaries of a guest operating system. Installation to access the primary hypervisor control controlling at, at all virtual machines on the host machine. This is true. 
And then which of the following signatures could be used to prevent VMs, VM spar uh, uses audit, snap patch management, uh, asset documentation, physical security control, sandboxing. Nope. And it says which uh, what are the countermeasures against VM uh, VM escape? Um, and then I'm gonna say this is patch management and sandboxing, and finish. Let me see if we got any of them wrong. Are you shooting any of them wrong? We got hundred percent. All right. So first one, if you're gonna, if you guys are gonna go over back, go come back to this video. First one is local server hosting virtual virtualized OS. Uh, persistent VDI it runs its own copy of the virtual desktop. Uh, at the end of the session, users' data, personal setting, personal settings are saved. So then, you know, non-persistent VDI is the opposite. So at the end of the session, user data go back to the original state, and virtual desktop is shared among other multiple users. And then here is which of the following issues are cloud-based VDI servers? This is DAS. And then here it says which of the terms listed below to allow multiple operations? We use virtualization. And it says here, uh, virtualized technology software uh, is actually going to be hypervisor. And here, if you it, the disadvantages of virtualization is it has a downgrading effect on performance because the reason why that's the answer is because as you are adding more virtual machines on your computer and they're on, they're hogging the resources on your desktop, whether it's CPU and memory or what, or what have you. So that, yeah, so it will definitely affect the performance of your computer. And then hardware used for host, uh, hosting machines become a single point of failure. That is true because I'm if, what if I'm running virtualization on this PC, right? And I have multiple servers on it and I have all the servers on it, and then everyone's trying to get into my server and then this PC just happens to stop working 100%. Well, everybody's screwed, right? Because they only have, there's only one point of contact, which is my PC. So that's why that's the answer. And then performance for custom workstations. Yeah, you need, you need a large hard drive it should be an SSD, ideally, uh, maximum RAM, random access memory, and then central processing unit, which is CPU. And then this is VTX. And I'm familiar with this because I, I've i been, from BIOS perspective, you can make any changes in the BIOS, like this AMD one, I'm familiar with that. VM sprout, VM sprout is new to me. I never heard of that term. It's really, I just had to look it up. And then VM escape, I had to look that up as well. And then those last four questions, I had to look them up as to why that's the answer. For then, that's it. That's pretty much it um, for me. I'm going to stop sharing. So that's pretty much it for me. Those are the questions and answers for virtualization quiz uh, exam 220-1101 for CompCIA+. Uh, hopefully, this helps you out. With that being said, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. It, it helps the algorithm so then people get to see this video. If not, then no one gets to see this video. <laughs> So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Later. Peace. Bye.